What is happening, Whiskey Chaser fam? Welcome back to another video out here on the streets of New York City, riding down Lexington Avenue on our way to the Yamaha dealer. I had previously mentioned about how my fork seals, or one fork seal, has busted on this motorcycle, and I am going to go get some more. If you're new here, my name is Chase, and this is Whiskey Chaser channel, where I do motorcycle-related content in New York City. And if you could do me a big favor, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Because this is an ever-growing community of awesome people. And I would love for you to be a part of it. Got my new Live Fast gloves on. This cool tiger on them. Wanted to break them in. I got a bunch of new Live Fast gloves. and They, need, they just need to be worn in a little bit because they're a little stiff, a little tight, but... It's okay, they start out that way and then they kind of loosen and conform to your hand. Kind of like a good set of boots, you know? If you like these gloves, you should definitely go over to livefast.com and check them out. There is a new code, WHISKEY, and it'll give you 10% off of your purchase. That code should be live by the time this video comes out. If you are in search of some really, really cool gloves with really, really cool designs on them, if you're in search of a new riding vest, which I'm actually wearing right now and I have a full review on that I really like. Plenty of other gear too. I actually have a really nice um, rain jacket from them. It's a weatherproof, waterproof jacket. It's got a reflective logo on the back. I rode in it down to Florida and back whenever it started raining on us, such as like Ocala. And when I got back to New York and it kept me relatively dry my buddy Ricky Bobber actually has one he likes it as well so it's not just me trying to pitch it there's other people who have it who say that it's great there you go so the Yamaha dealership is just over the bridge so we have to get on the Queensboro jump over into Queens Long Island City and then So the part has been got. We are set and ready. Just need to get some oil. Be good to go. They ended up charging me uh, about 10 bucks more than what I found online, which I'm kind of PO'd about because the reason why I even made my way out here was because the place I was gonna order from was gonna charge me 10 bucks for shipping. So they were like, oh yeah, we work with local Yamaha dealers to get you your parts. So it'll be this plus shipping. And I was like, all right, well, if you're gonna do that, I'll just go to the Yamaha dealer myself because it's just over the bridge. And then when I got there, they charged me the same amount as if I would have just got them shipped to me. And I was trying to get them ordered on Monday, so they would have been here already. <laughs> I didn't save any time. I had to leave early to come out here to do this, and it, it didn't save me any money at all. I was just trying to save a couple bucks, and well, that didn't work. So cool. So it looks like if I need any more parts, I will just be ordering them and they can work with the local dealer and just get them shipped to me since they're just gonna charge me for the shipping anyway. Yeah, point is, we got the parts. We're pretty good to go. So let's just uh, 
get this thing done. Insert cool transition here. All right, folks, welcome back. So this is where we're at right now. Have the bolt up on a jack, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is first, the first things first is I'm gonna take this bandana off because this is gross. It's completely covered in oil and uh, yeah, so that's nasty. And then I'm gonna get the front wheel off and then we're gonna try to get the old oil out of these things before I can get the lowers off, clean these up a little bit, hopefully get this thing done pretty quick. Oh, but of course, uh, I anticipate this being a two beer job, so I have two beers. Hopefully I do not need to go to the store to get more. This week's beers are sponsored by Ricky Bobber Photo. So cheers. Thank you, Ricky, for sponsoring this episode, and uh, let's get to it. Here we go. That's the completed front ends. I have the new gaiters on, flushed all the old oil out, got everything all sealed up and ready to go. All right, folks, she's done. We're good, set up, ready to go. Got my new band easy on there. Coyote Ugly, if you know, you know. Uh, not even a two beer job, which is actually pretty good. It took me a little bit less than two hours. And that was also like, you know, getting everything ready and all that kind of stuff and bringing it down here, which is always a pain in my ass, but yeah, everything's good. All right, 
So uh, I'm gonna go ride it around just a little bit tonight just to make sure everything is good and set and there's no leaks or anything like that. And then tomorrow I'll update you with what's going on. So see you then. All right, welcome back. Go buddy. So we are here the next day on the brand new fork seals. And I gotta tell you, this thing feels a lot more solid for sure. I would imagine that would be the case considering one of those forks had almost no oil in it. Whoa, that's windy. So there you go. Fork seals done. Gators on. Hopefully should protect that from any debris or anything like that. Plus they just look cooler. If you want to see what it looks like, I posted a picture over on my Instagram, whiskeychaser underscore. Go give me a follow and check it out. Leave some love on that picture if you can. And also thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Chase, this is the Whiskey Chaser channel. And I do all kinds of motorcycle related stuff around New York City and all over. In fact, by the time you end up watching this video, I will be in Florida, in Tampa for the Forgotten Angels camp out. So please, let me know what you want to see on that video. I'll go out there and I'll do all my recording and everything like that. And then when I do my edit, I'll uh, be looking at these comments to see what kind of stuff you guys want to see. And hopefully I get to hang out with a bunch of you down there. I did last time and it was amazing. It was so much fun. If you're there and you see me, please come up to me. Please let me know your name if I don't know you uh, because it's really hard on the internet to put everybody's name to their face. I usually have like a shirt, one of my shirts on that has my logo and my name on it. So if you are looking at me and you're like, man, I think that might be Whiskey Chaser, just check out the shirt because <laughs> I usually have, at least the first day, I have a shirt with my name on it. So you should be able to find me. Please come up to me, please talk to me. Uh, let's get you on video. Let's put you put you in a video. Let's uh, let me get you some stickers like, I, this is what we're all down there for. We're all down there to, to love each other and have fun and, and enjoy each other's company and be there for, for these kids. Uh, they're not kids, they're adults, but you know, be there for these, for these guys who have aged out of the foster care system and uh, have nowhere to go. And so Dave and Cindy have given them this space to, to grow and thrive. And that's amazing. And that's why we're all there. So uh, hopefully I'll be leaving with a brand new Ford Tremor and uh, Lowrider S. <laughs> we'll see about that. But even if I don't, I'm super, super glad to have been there. So I uh, hope to see everybody there. And uh, yep, that's about it. If you do me a favor, just uh, go on down there, so hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. And uh, that's all she wrote, bro. All right, everybody, peace out.